Hi and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix the Ryzen Master Field to Initialize Error in Windows 11. So make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So the first process that I am going to show you is how to bypass Windows Core Isolation. So Windows Core Isolation, specifically the memory integrity component, can potentially impact the functionality of a certain AMD applications or drivers. So Windows Core Isolation's memory integrity feature works by enforcing strict memory access policies, which can sometimes interfere with the software that relies on direct access to the system memory or makes low-level modifications. So simply put, the Windows operating system tends to automatically crash programs created by other vendors if compatibility issues arise or arise. However, you can take steps to bypass the security feature and I'm going to show you the instructions. So the first first part is to create a D word value to disable the block list in the registry. So to do this, what you need to do is press the Windows plus R key on your keyboard. So for this window to pop up and if you see, already see this one, just simply press reg edit. So it is this one, R-E-G, then edit. So just click on the OK button. And now navigate to the location right here. So just go into the high H key, local machine. And then in here, just simply click on system. And in system, click on to the current control set. And in the current control set, click on to the control. And the control, click on CI. And then last Lastly, the config section. So once you are in here, what you need to do is to go into this or click this one, right click, and then just simply click new. So right here, and then select the word 32 bit value and the section will appear and once you see this, what you need to do is to simply rename this and then hit enter. Once you've done this, and then just set the value of this one. You can need to modify and set it to zero. So as you can see, the value data should be at zero. And once you've done that, just click OK and then just um, reboot your computer. So once you reboot your computer, just try launching application in question like the Ryzen Master and check whether the issue has been resolved or not. And for the second part, I am now going to teach you how to disable core isolation from settings. So disabling core isolation can help improve the Ryzen Master initialization. So this is achieved by eliminating potential conflicts between the VBS environment created by the core isolation and the functioning of the Ryzen Master. So when core isolation is disabled, the VPS environment becomes inactive. So this can potentially resolve compatibility issues between Ryzen Master and the isolated environment. And here are the steps that you need to do. So first, just press the Windows key to open up the Start menu. And in the Start menu, search in the bar or in the search bar, just type in core isolations and press enter in your keyboard. And if you do not see the core isolation feature, so this means that the CPU virtualization is disabled. And therefore, before continuing, just make sure to turn it off right here and toggle the switch under the memory integrity to off as shown right here in the image and then just reboot your computer. So once you've done that, once you've rebooted your computer, just run the program and check if the issue has been resolved or not. And so that's it for this video and I hope this helped you. And if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.